My name is Anthony Tedisco, Vice President of One Vino Manufacturing, and today I'm here to show you how to use your Minijet wine filter properly. Wine filtering is the last step prior to bottling. By filtering, you will get a commercial look to your wine. It is very important that you transfer your wine a minimum of once prior to filtering. If you do this, it'll make your filtering experience much easier and less costly because you won't be using as much filter pads. So the first thing you need to do is determine which type of filter pad you should be using on that particular wine. Our number one pads are a five to six micron pad. You would consider using this pad when the wines don't look clean or clear through the natural settling process, or if you haven't transferred your wine properly. Our number two pad is a two micron pad, and we consider this our polishing pad. This gives you your brilliance and your sparkle when you filter with a number two pad. You can filter directly with a number two pad if you've transferred your wine a minimum of one time. Our number three pads are a 0.5 micron pad. Predominantly, we suggest you use these for white wines. These pads are so tight, they take out minute particulate that you cannot see with the naked eye. The wine we're going to filter today is a red wine, Merlot, and it's been transferred twice. So we're gonna be using a number two filter pad to filter this wine. The first thing you wanna do is disconnect the short piece of tubing on the bottom nozzle plate. I like to attach it to the drip tray hose just to keep it out of the way. Now you wanna loosen off and take off the black hand wheels. Now that the black hand wheels are off, we'll take the washers off and set them on the hand wheels and slide the front plate down on the table and take out all three plastic plates. Now we're ready to soak our pads. We've got, as I said before, we're using the number two pads, so we're gonna put them in fresh water. You could also use citric acid if you want to take this a step further and add a 5% solution of citric acid to your water. Soak the pads in the water with the citric acid, then load up your machine with your pads and your plates, but then you need to recycle the citric acid solution through the pads for a short period of time prior to filtering. So I'm gonna just dip them into the water. When the bubbles stop, your pads are saturated. So you take them out, let them drip dry a little bit. I'll just set them here for now. Now you take your first number two pad and place it inside the machine like so, making sure that the rough side is going to face towards the hand wheels and that the holes correspond. Once you've got the first pad in place, grab a central plate and put it in and you would, the plate will hang off the little stainless steel bolts on the side here. Now, if you put a pad or a plate in incorrectly, you will be able to see it because there's a five millimeter difference between one bolt and the other. And your, if you can notice, your plastic plate is not sitting straight or level. The pads will do the same thing. So let me put this back correctly. Grab another pad. Again, rough side, always towards the hand wheels. Slide that into place. Your other, your other central plate, slide that in. Our last filter pad, rough side, always facing towards the hand wheels. And now your nozzle plate. This is the last plate that you put on. And then again, it just hangs over the stainless steel bolts. Now take your metal plate, 
and slide it on like so. Grab your, your washers, slide them under the bolts, and attach your hand wheels. Now there's no need to use clamps or anything to tighten the, uh, the hand wheels with. Hand tight is sufficient enough. So now we can set up our carboys. First, I need to take this plastic container down and move it out of the way so we can place our full container of wine that we need to filter to the proper inlet side. And I just so happen to have a clean carboy right here for the outtake side. So the first hose we want to set up is the intake hose. Your intake hose consists of this white anti-sediment tip with the stainless steel wire in the inside. The stainless steel wire is there to straighten out the hose and keep it straight in the carboy. So what you want to do is straighten out the hose as best as you can so you can get right down into the carboy. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll put that inside here, like so. And attach the opposite end to the intake of the motor or pump. Just so you don't get too much movement, you can bend the tubing down a little bit and it keeps the hose in place. Now, you want to take your outtake hose, which is your 5 16 by 7 16 clear tube, and attach it to the outtake of the pads. So you just want to slide this on, then take the opposite end and put it into your clean container. So next, we want to attach our little short piece of tubing from the outtake of the motor back onto the nozzle on the bottom so we can start filtering our wine soon. And now lastly, we have our drip tray hose, which is a small quarter by three eighths clear tubing. And we attach it here. Now, you can either put this tube back into your wine to be filtered if you choose to if you choose so or you can put it into your clean wine that's already been filtered basically the wine that's been dripping out of the bottom will come out of here and honestly it's already filtered so i'm going to choose to put it into the clean container so now we're pretty much ready to filter our wine so now we can start a machine, turn it on and start filtering. Self primes. So the first little bit that's going to come out of the filter pads is water because your pads are saturated with water. So once you start to see red wine coming through or your white wine coming through, you can transfer it over into your clean container and start filling your container. Now. Just wait and watch the full carboy empty out and your nice clean wine fill up to the top on the other side. Now for display purposes only, I attach the drip tray hose to the container on the clean side and the carboy was actually higher than the drip tray hose. Ideally, if you want this to work properly, the carboy should be lower than the drip tray so the liquid will drain out into the container. If you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for choosing Buon Vino products and happy filtering. Salute!